So here's just a quick video that's going to walk through talking about the user coordinate system. <clears throat> if you're not seeing your XYZ user coordinate system, you can go to the View tab and make sure that icon is turned on over there. The importance of the UCS is all of your two-dimensional drawings are going to be done on your XY working plane. So if you want to start a two-dimensional drawing on something that is oriented differently than how it just starts out by default, you'll have to move this thing around. So right now I'm just showing how that system is set up. So if you have your dynamic input is off, so you don't have something by your cursor, x-axis going to the right is positive. So here I have just a 2D rectangle. And you can see as we go out farther to the right, our coordinates are going to increase for x. For y, they increase backwards. And again, this is all of your sketches are going to start in 2D on that x, xy plane and then you usually extrude things up into the z direction. So you start on the 2D XY plane and then extrude up. What I've done over here <coughs> is to create a cube. I can switch out into conceptual mode. So I made a cube, and this is in the world or original just default location for the user coordinate system. And I've labeled the sides of this cube with that original orientation of our view cube up here. So T for top, F for front, and R for right, so that when we move the, U the UCS around, you can tell where we are. OK, so let's say we want to draw something on the right-hand side of our cube, but that's not where our UCS is oriented. So we're going to have to move it over there. What I'm going to do is first look to see what snaps I have on here. So if I go to my object snap settings at the bottom, I like to just select all of these guys and turn those all on. I also like to make sure that my orthographic snap is turned on before I move my user coordinate system around just to make sure it's lined up perfectly and we don't have some strange random orientation when we move it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the user coordinate system, I'm going to move the origin over to a corner on the right hand side. So you move the origin, then you define the x-axis, then the y-axis. And that will be the plane that we will draw on. So I type in UCS for user coordinate system and then keep reading the command line to see what it tells you to do. There are quite a few options and we'll go through some of these in the future but without going through any of these initial options first right now I'm going to just follow what it's asking me to do. So specify origin of the user coordinate system. So I want my new origin to be over in this corner and I have my snapping tools on so I can really grab this lower right hand corner over here. So I'm just going to let it snap right into place. And after our origin is in place, we now want to specify a point on the x-axis. <clears throat> so I can put my x-axis along the ground or I can pull them straight up. I'm going to go ahead and put the x-axis on the ground just to be sure I'm lining my axis up right. I'm actually going to pull all the way over to this other corner. So there's my x-axis is in place. Now I need to specify a point on the xy plane. And this is what we're doing now is we're pulling around our y-axis for where our y-axis needs to go. And I'm going to put the y-axis going straight up. So this will allow me to draw on the right-hand side of my box. Now you'll notice the view cube is now oriented with this new coordinate system. So it says the top side is over here, even though this is actually the right-hand side of my box. Some of these orientations and positions for the coordinate system, you like to save for later. 
So what I'm going to do is now that I have my coordinate system in this nice spot so I can draw on the right hand side of my box, I'm going to actually save it. And I do that by saying UCS. And right here in my options, I have this option to name one of my UCS locations. So I'm just going to type in NA, or I could click on it to create a named location. So I want to save a new location, enter the name, and I'm going to call this just R-I-G-H-T, the right-hand side of my box. And I actually already did this, so yes, I will replace it. Okay, so I can, I can now draw, maybe I'll just do a polyline. So now if I start, if I start my polyline, you can see that I'm drawing over here on the right hand side of my box. So if I rotate that around, see how that polyline I just made is over here getting drawn on that XY plane. If I ever want to go back to the original location of the coordinate system, what I do is type in UCS, enter, W for world, or if you hit enter again, it'll do what's in these last set of parentheses. So W for world, and that takes us back to the original coordinate system. Or if I want to pop back over to the right-hand side, I can say UCS, enter, and I saved that location, so I'm going to go to a named location, restore, and then type in R-I-G-H-T, because that's how I label that. So I can pop back over to the right-hand side location. Coming back to the world coordinate system, <clears throat> let's say that now I would like to change my XY plane so that it is oriented with the front of my box. <clears throat> to do this, what I'd want is to rotate that coordinate system around the x-axis. So just zooming in on this thing, when you enter your UCS command, there's a lot of different options in the square brackets here. Some of the options, X, Y, Z, this allows you to rotate around those axes. So what that looks like here, let me grab some drawing tools. So here's my X axis. It's coming out here to the right hand side. And let's say I want to take my Y axis and just flip it 90 degrees up. So I'm going to rotate this thing the entire thing around the x-axis. So what that's going to do is it's going to bring the z-axis down here. So see how we're just going to rotate everything 90 degrees. It'll use the right-hand rule. So if you wrap your right hand around the axis, that you're rotating around, your thumb will come over here and point in the direction either positive or negative. So this would be a positive 90 degree rotation if I want to stand the y-axis up. So the y-axis will rotate up and be vertical and the z-axis will rotate forward until it's kind of lying on the floor. So let's try that one out. So I'm going to go ahead and start my UCS. And this time, I can either click on the x-axis or type in x. I want to rotate around my x-axis and 90 degrees. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees, positive 90 degrees, and you can see what, what's happened here. So now my y-axis is going straight up and the z-axis is coming straight over. So that would, would allow me to draw on the front side of this cube. So here what I have is an object that has an auxiliary view, this slanted surface. What should I do if I want to orient my UCS up on this slanted surface? I'm going to go ahead and make sure my snapping tools are on. 
type in UCS. Now I could use the face feature, although it doesn't give you as much control over setting the origin. So I really like to just stick with the default and start by selecting the origin. And I'm using the snapping features to pull it to that corner. Next, I'm going to pull my x-axis over and I'm pulling it all the way to the corner. So I'm really making sure that it's snapped to this line over here. And for my y-axis, I'm going to snap it to this endpoint. So now my xy coordinate system is aligned with the slanted surface. And I can come over onto the surface of this thing and do things like draw a circle, and if I'm not in dynamic input mode, all of the coordinates that I enter are going to be aligned with that new coordinate system. So I can go ahead and use press pull and push things through here and draw on the new coordinate system. And whenever I want to go back to where I was, all I have to do is say UCS and then W for world. So go ahead and take some time to play with that UCS. You can click on a face to place your coordinate system on one face versus another face. You can save an orientation under the named view. You can make sure that you are snapped to an object when you're placing your UCS. You can go back to a previous view or go back to the world view. You can rotate around the axis. You can set it up so that it's defined by where the Z axis is instead of snapping your X and Y axis into place. But the, the most common way to use it is to walk through just the default. So set where your new origin is going to be, then when you're, where your x-axis is going to be, and then where your y-axis is going to be. So I hope that was helpful and you'll, you'll get real used to, to moving that coordinate system around. And this is how all of the this CAD software works. So even for Inventor, you will move what your working plane is and start with a 2D sketch and then push and pull and extrude all of your 2D drawings off of that initial XY working plane. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions.